A musical with a huge following is this week smashing box office records at the Guildhall in Portsmouth. The Rocky Horror Show, a spoof on the Dracula and Frankenstein stories, was first performed in 1973. But it's just as popular now as it was then. How come? Well, Lee Peck went to the Guildhall to find out. It's astounding, time is fleeting, madness takes its toll. Extrovert, artistic, bizarre, and that's only the audience of the Rocky Horror Show. Every other show you just sit there, don't you, all boring. Here you can really go mad and dance to all the records and sing to the songs and just be weird. You've been to see it 21 times? Yeah. What do you get out of it after so many times? Well, it's good fun, you know, it's good feeling. It's the atmosphere. You see, they're here to have a good time. Men dress as women, women dress as women, and others hardly dress at all. But that's showbiz, because underneath they're all pretty normal. What's your day job? Florist. I'm a medical student. Go <laughs> <laughs> on, tell them. Training manager. With who? I'm not going to tell you. It's just a jump to the left. The Rocky Horror Show is the fodder of any good romance. Boy meets girl who marry and honeymoon in Transylvania. There lives Frank and Furta. True, he likes to dress as a woman, but then nobody's perfect. And he dabbles in bodybuilding, like Frankenstein. Bobby, why has the Rocky Horror Show become such a cult? I think basically because so many people can join in with the show and be part of it. It's the sort of show that probably not so many young people would go to see a musical with the musicals that they have running in the West End. So to go and see a musical for the first time and be part of it and join in, I think it's great. It's good for us as well. Is it an adult pantomime? I think you could call it that, <coughs> yes. Um, yes, it's quite explicit. I think the audience are probably a bit naughtier than we are. Uh, I mean, they, they certainly swear a lot more than we do. But there's no nudity or anything, it's just uh, innuendos and all tongue-in-cheek. And how long does it take you to put this elaborate makeup on? Um, over an hour, if I'm honest. Yeah. Um, I could do it in about half an hour, but I like to sort of stop. People are coming in and out all the time, so it's nice to sort of stop and then have a break and then carry on. Lots of bits and pieces to put on. We won't go into that. No! <laughs> <laughs> The show was performed on stage in 1973 and is permanently touring the country. What's kept it going is that everybody knows the songs and can join in. And this is what they call audience participation. In fact, you're witnessing the homemade special effects. Rice for a wedding and water for the rain. More supplies are always on hand. For the cast, though, it's all in a day's work. OK. It's showtime, babies! And that production of the Rocky Horror Show is at the Portsmouth Guildhall until Saturday. Then it moves north before returning to the Theatre Royal at Winchester next month. And I don't see any way at all that Nick Collins is going to be able to follow that.